Greetings, my friends, and welcome to Trinity Traveling. I'm your host, John. Today, we're visiting the Kennedy Space Center. This is a repeat visit for me. Last year during COVID, not all of the Kennedy Space Center was open. For me and personally, there are two highlights at the Kennedy Space Center, other than a rocket launch, I guess. But for the museum portion of the Kennedy Space Center, the two highlights for me are the Space Shuttle, which is pretty amazing. And then the other highlight for me is the uh, Apollo Center and the Saturn V rocket that is within it, and then the various artifacts. Due to COVID, last year during my visit, the Apollo Center and the Saturn V were off limits. No going there. Unfortunately, you could not ride the bus due to their COVID restrictions. Uh, this year, however, everything was open. So before we get to the Apollo Center and the Saturn V rocket, please take a second to click the subscribe button, hit the reminder bell, and then you'll get notified about all my trips and experiences. Without any more delay, chit chat, and all that stuff, let's go visit the Kennedy Space Center in 2021. Again, welcome to Kennedy Space Center in 2021. There are a couple new things here to sh see since last year. Saturn 1B was the precursor to the Saturn V. The Saturn V first stage was powered with five F1 engines. They've added a Delta II to the Rocket Garden that was under construction last year when we visited. It's next to the Saturn 1B booster. It is a predecessor to, to the Atlas V, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Must see the space shuttle, of course. And on this visit, repeat with the chocolate chip cookie, which was so good. And they had gluten-free buns this year, so I got a cheeseburger. Excellent lunch. As I teased earlier, here's the Atlas V launch. So I am now gonna go over there and look at the Saturn V. Saturn V is really why I came, and the launch was just a bonus. So anyway, here we go. If you'd like to see the full launch in real time, it is posted on my channel. Heading into the dedicated Apollo Center. And of course, the first thing you are presented with is the mighty Saturn V, five F1 engines in the first stage. The presentation of this Saturn V is very similar to that in Huntsville, Alabama. I think Huntsville might have had more artifacts than the Kennedy Space Center, however. All three main stages, as well as the upper command module, are presented. This is a beautifully restored Saturn V. For years, this particular booster was outside in the Florida weather. 
is a very moving tribute to the Apollo 1 astronauts. Some of the actual artifacts from Apollo 1. I really like the center quote, follow your passion. Once you find it, put your mind to it. I, I think those are very inspirational words. Get to touch a moon rock. I think that's the third moon rock I've been able to touch. There's a lunar module mock-up. And then we get into the actual artifacts. The Apollo 14 command module. Alan Shepard's actual moon suit. You can just see the moon dust on his feet still. Alan Shepard's Apollo 14 suit from the moon. Priceless. And I've always found Jim Lovell on Apollo 13 inspirational. This is his flight suit from Apollo 13. I've just finished up my day at the Saturn V. This is my third of the three Saturn Vs in existence. It's set up a lot like the one in Huntsville. Heading back on the bus to the main museum portion of the Kennedy Space Center. And as always, remember to exit through the gift shop. If you have any questions or comments about visiting the Kennedy Space Center in the current environment, I'll do my best to answer those questions. Because requirements seem to change regularly, checking with your destination is always advisable. Thanks for watching today and happy travels!